Hello, mighty pirates, and welcome to a new motion VFX tutorials. Hello, mighty pirates. I'm Aaron from Motion VFX, and today we'll see how to animate some 3D elements using some cool techniques. So I will start from scratch with a new motion project. In the generators, I will select MO2 in the Motion VFX folder and apply it to my project. First, I will rename the group. It helps a lot to keep track of your elements. I will name it Pirates. Then I will select the MO2 element and go to the inspector. For this project, I've used a free pack available on the Motion VFX website, the Halloween pack where you can find several 3D cool elements like the skull, for example. I will add this object into the scene. The skull is a full 3D object. I will select the Adjust Item tool in order to get the MO2 on-screen control. I will switch to the perspective view to show you that it's a full 3D element. I will switch back to the camera view and play with the controls overlay to get the skull in the right position. I will scale a little bit the object and move up to center it. Okay, now I need to add two bones. So inside the library, I will still use the Halloween pack and select the bone. I will scale it and adjust it at the right position using the on-screen controls. For the second bone, I will duplicate the first one and adjust the position. If you want to be accurate, don't hesitate to display the grid to help you. Okay, to finish with the skull, I need to add the two eyes. I will hide the elements and import the eye from the Halloween pack. I will scale it and show you that this 3D eye gets some slime or blob on it. But this is not a big issue as you can go inside the eye group and remove the blob from it. Okay, now let's come back to the normal size and call back the skull element. By using the on-screen control, I will adjust the position. To be sure that your 3D element is at the right position, don't hesitate to use the perspective view, like this. So now I will name it left eye and duplicate it in order to create the right one. I will adjust the position in X, Y, and Z. I just have to call back the two bones and we are ready to go to the animation part. Let's start with the jaw animation. I would like that the jaw animation match with the audio track. The animation channel to use is a Z rotation. So I need to add the audio track. I will open the audio tab and drag and drop my audio file directly inside. Now my audio file is part of the motion project. I will switch back to the layer tab and select MO2. In the inspector, I will select the jaw element and on the Z rotation parameter, I will add an audio behavior. I will need to indicate to the behavior which audio source to use. When the right one is selected, Motion will analyze the audio to create an animation curve based on the audio signal. We can see it directly inside the keyframe editor and test it. Hello, mighty pirates, and welcome to a new Motion VFX tutorials. If I select the MO2 element, we can see that the Z rotation gets the animation, but nothing is moving inside the viewer. It's totally fine as MO2 use keyframes for animation, so we need to convert this curve to keyframe curve. And it is very easy as you just have to select the parameter inside the keyframe editor, then go to the object menu and select convert to keyframe tool or use the key shortcut command K. 
Motion will ask you if you are sure to do this operation as it will remove the behavior as well. Click on convert and it's done. We have now a keyframe animation based on the audio track. We can test it. Hello, mighty pirates, and welcome to a new motion VFX tutorials. Now the jaw follow perfectly all the words. If you need to adjust some keyframe, it's totally fine. Just select some keyframes and adjust them to the right values. Hello, mighty pirates, and welcome to a new motion VFX tutorials. So the first animation is done, but our score is not very terrifying and not scary at all. And his look is frozen. To correct this, I will need some animation. The problem is, it is a 3D object. So we should go back to the 3D software to modify the 3D mesh and animate it. Very long process and I need to know how to do it or to find someone to do it. Here I will use Mpuppet in order to create quick and easy animation. I will go to the filters pop-up menu to motion VFX and select Mpuppet. Mpuppet is a very easy to use plugin which will give you the possibilities to warp some part of your element by adding points called handles. So I will add handles over the eyes as I would like to modify the look, but I will add also some handles to protect the skulls from the deformation, like pins to fix the elements. So now I'm done, I can play with my first point and move it down to see if it looks better. I mean more scary. As you can see, Mpuppet is like a warp tool, so I can stretch the pixel from a position to another one. In the inspector, I can extend the shape and modify the density of the mesh. I can display the mesh at any time and see the density. In the inspector, I've got also access to all the handles parameters. If I put the cursor on one point, I can see the number, so it's easy to check if it is the right parameter. I'm on the first frame and I will add keyframes on the handles 1 and 2. Go to the frame 26 and change the position of the handles. I will modify also the position of the handles 3 and 4 and create keyframes. I will repeat this action several times to create smooth animation for the skull. I'm done with the keyframes, so I will select the 8 curve and change the interpolation to Bezier in order to get smoother animation. I can press the play button to check the animation. We can see that M Puppet animations are very organic. The really cool thing about merging Mpuppet and MO2 is the fact that we can go back to the 3D objects at any time and modify them. For example here, I would like to animate a little bit the eyeball in order to give life to my dead character. So I just have to select the eyes and play with the Y rotation. I will add some keyframes on both eyes. To add a scariest atmosphere, let's add some smoke. Here I will use compositing element from Motion VFX collection called M-Smoke. I will create a new group, Smoke. Drag and drop a video element inside. I will need to change the blend mode to screen or add. But I need to add the second one on the back. 
To do so, I will go to the Media tab and drag and drop a new smoke layer. Go back to the Layers tab and select my MO2 element. In the inspector, we'll open the scene settings and select the background settings. Below, I will modify the type from gradient to drop zone. I will drag and drop my smoke element into it. I will also add some dust particle. I will change the blend mode again and play with the opacity parameters from the particles, but also from the smoke layer. Now we'll merge both elements into a new group. I will call it Skull Project. And I will apply on it Amphim Lock in order to get a quick color correction. I will go directly to the preset library where I can test many looks. I will select the wilderness preset and it's done. For more tutorial in English, French, Spanish, don't hesitate to subscribe to Motion VFX YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.